All right, good morning, guys. You two people everywhere. It is Friday morning. Got a uh, couple things I want to do on my list today. Number one being, I have to. Oh, in my pocket. <clears throat> I got to change these gaskets instead of the paper thing I made. So um, that should be pretty quick and easy. Famous last words. Um, I gotta do that on the 4th gen, um, I gotta put all these tools away, clean all these tools, um, I don't know if I'm gonna put the exhaust away yet, I might put all the stuff back on after I get it, uh, gone through emissions and stuff, and, uh, get it registered out here in California, yay, me, and I am going to cut these today so what I want to do is I want to take this little L bracket off so I gotta find I think it's all uh, what do they call it spot welded so I just don't know where I can't really see through all the rust and everything um, I don't know what that is probably boogers and uh, I want to take this off and I'm going to torch cut this. I'm going to try to uh, make a template maybe. Um, but yeah, basically it's going to go from here, somewhere like that. And then I'll take this. Once I cut that out, I'll take it, flip it over here and uh, cut that side out. Um, also, guys, uh, you guys let me know what you think. <clears throat> Thinking about doing four link in the rear of Project Crack Pipe for two reasons. Number one reason is I can get rid of all this. This will be gone. And then um, I'm hoping and thinking, I don't know. I haven't been able to find anything yet. But I want to move this axle forward about three inches so I don't have to move the cab back because I like, um, actually I do want to move the cab back. Um, I want to move the cab back about inch and a half, maybe two inches. Um, yeah, so I want to shorten and bring this up like three inches because as you saw in a previous video I had five inches here from the bed to here move this back an inch that gives me four inches move this forward three inches and uh, and yeah then this way I can <clears throat> I don't know it's still an idea I kind of would rather leave it with this setup you know because this is a budget build I'm trying to do this with the least amount of money as I can so I might end up taking these hangers all back off and moving them forward um, I guess three inches which won't be too bad because <clears throat> this here is probably three inches let's see that's one two three four all right maybe four inches so maybe i'll just move it up but that's fine i'll move this up because i'll use these holes here for these bolts there so i'll just move it forward put those bolts in there like that drill other holes in there and then uh i'm gonna have to grind clean all this crap up um get all this metal off of there and then this way I can move that forward and uh, my only problem and thing I'm seeing right now is if I move this forward it drops which is gonna bring the rear of the truck up I think so but anyway that's all later project stuff <clears throat> so right now I'm just gonna it's like seven something in the morning seven thirty in the morning i'm gonna do the truck real quick 
let it running. I gotta get the readiness codes ready. And uh yeah, I'll probably just torch cut these open. Hopefully I can make it in one swoop, which probably won't happen. It'd be nice if I can make an arm or something, find the find the radius and just put something out here, like maybe clamp something out here to where the axle is, I guess. And then I can just make an arm with that radius and then just sweep. I might actually try doing that. I might actually uh, take a 2 by 4 or something and just... Psh, psh, I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I know I'm going to do it. Whatever it is, I'm going to do. Um, so, anyway, that's it. That's it for today. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. Alright, guys. I got to get it ready. Got to get it going. I am going to play with this OBD-11 uh, app on this car. Um, it's not going to work. I'll show you real quick. There's only a couple things on this, on the Q7 that you can do. Uh, so, what the heck? Oh, garage. Click on that. Apps. So there's only a couple things, like I said, you can do on this. Uh, summertime menu in MMI. Summertime, I don't know. I guess that's a, uh, um, what do you call that? Time, daylight saving time. Um, video emotion, I guess you could do a video. You'd be playing the DVD player as you're driving. I didn't even know the car had a DVD player, but whatever. Glove compartment lock. Um, radio frequency, so you can scan through frequencies, because right now, on the Audi, it just has set settings. It, like, finds local set, local channels, and those, that's all you get to scroll through of what is already, it's almost like presets, so you don't actually get to change, um, like, frequencies to dial it in. Like, if there's a radio station, like, I listen to 93.5 out here. It's like an oldies hip hop ish, and I can't get it on my radio uh, unless I'm home. But then once I leave my house and go about, I don't know, maybe a mile away, uh, it goes off the radio. So this allows you to do to select actual stations. This one I'll use. This this is one I'm gonna try the needle sweep. So basically the needles just do their little sweep. You got lap timer some other crap so this is all they have for the Audi Q7 and when I go to my brother-in-law's car the e-golf there's like I don't even know let me uh let me do something let me just find his car oh you need the VIN number uh I don't know I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to do this little gauge sweeping thing, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be it. It shouldn't take that long. Hopefully, I don't know. I've never done it. So, maybe I'll do a, uh, I'll do a video. Next video will be me putting that stupid app and trying to figure it out, see how long it takes. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and you'll see that in the next video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Make sure you guys like, comment. Dislike, do whatever you guys do. Also, I'm going to sync my garage door opener to the Audi and then possibly my wife's car. But we might be getting rid of the wife's car too. So, anyway, alright guys, later.